today's master class i want to talk about foreclosures in housing a special thanks to adam data a trusted source for comprehensive nationwide real estate data covering 99 percent of the u.s population the national association of realtors and barry habib at mba's highway for collecting this data recent media headlines continue to spread fear about the pending collapse in the housing market with the news that foreclosures in the first half of 2022 are up 150% from last year. And while it's true that foreclosures have risen this amount compared to the previous year, a look back at the data in recent years confirms that the situation is far from dire as the media would have you to believe. This chart from Adam Data compares foreclosure activity in the first six months of the year, going back all the way to 2008. As you can see, there were 164,581 foreclosures from January to June of this year versus just 65,082 foreclosures since in the first half of 2021. The record low level of foreclosures seen last year was mainly due to the foreclosure moratoriums put in place because of the pandemic. And given that these moratoriums have ended, an increase in foreclosures this year from last year's record low was to be expected. But does the 155% increase that we've seen this year signal a collapse in the housing market? Well, looking more closely at the data, you can see that it puts us on par with 165,530 foreclosures in 2020. And remember, the foreclosure moratoriums were also in place in 2020, which kept the number of foreclosures down slightly that year. Now, if we look back at 2019, a more normalized year, the number of foreclosures seen during the first half of 2022 is about 44% less than the 296,458 reported in 2019. And if we compare the number of foreclosures in 2022 to when the housing market was really in trouble during the Great Recession, it's a fraction of the amount seen 2008, 2009, 2010, when foreclosures topped 1 million in each of those years. In addition, homeowners today have record levels of equity in their homes, and lending conditions are much stricter today than in the late 2000s. These factors will also keep the number of foreclosures in check. And while it's true that higher mortgage rates and higher home prices have slowed demand for homes, record low inventory should remain supportive of home prices, which will also keep a lid on foreclosures. Data released earlier this month, for example, from the National Association of Realtors showed that there was just 3.3 months supply of existing homes available for sale at the end of July, well below the six months that is considered a balanced level. For more data and an in-depth analysis on this topic, please check out our Housing Supply and Demand Masterclass. In closing, as the data demonstrates, the number of foreclosures this year is significantly less than any time from 2008 to 2019. So even though foreclosures are up 150% from last year, it's essential to understand that number in context. As always, you buy a house and you invest in real estate when you're ready. And I hope that data points like the one listed in this masterclass help you make a sound financial decision for yourself and or your family. Thank you for tuning in. See you next time.